You're watching a free sample video from Teacher's Test Prep. For videos like this one covering every area of your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com. The War for Independence, or the Revolutionary War. Um, first of all, let's talk about reasons for the Declaration of Independence. And they'll ask about these in multiple choice questions. You can also get written responses that might ask you to talk about three reasons for the Declaration of Independence or something like that. Um, so let's talk about some of the important reasons. First of all, tariffs. Um, tariffs are basically taxes on imports. Um, so things that are coming in to the colonies. Um, for example, the Stamp Act taxed printed matter, so things like newspapers and anything that was printed. Um, the Townshend Acts, uh, the Townsend Acts uh, taxed a variety of different uh, goods. Um, and one of the goods was tea. Um, they basically repealed later the Townsend Act except for the tax on tea. Uh, or the tariff on tea, um, and the colonists continued to rebel uh, and, and protest that, uh, that particular tariff, um, most famously through the Boston Tea Party, where they took the taxed tea and they dumped it into the Boston Harbor as a protest. Um, another factor was the lack of representation. Um, there was a sort of rallying cry amongst the colonists that was, uh, that was no taxation without representation. So basically they were saying if we're going to pay these high tariffs, uh, we should have equal representation in the British government. And they had no representation in Parliament. Uh, so they felt that if they were going to get taxed, they should also have representation. Um, another issue was the quartering of British soldiers. Um, Initially, they were uh, being quartered because of uh, British expansion in North America following the territories they got after the French and Indian War and their victory in that war. Uh, they needed to house troops uh, to sort of run those territories and to sort of manage them. Um, and the, Brit uh, the British subjects living in the British colonies were asked to do that. But later, they started to send troops basically because they knew uh, that the colonists were starting to want to break away from Britain. Um, in particular, they sent troops to New York and Boston. Um, and in Boston, uh, the, the citizens were taunting the troops and uh, the troops actually fired on the citizens. Um, and uh, they killed three people uh, right then and wounded eight others, uh, two of whom died later. So five people in total had died, but they termed this the Boston Massacre. And you can see this illustration here. This is actually an engraving by a very famous, uh, a very a famous colonist, Paul Revere, uh, depicting the, uh, the Boston Massacre, which uh, because the British soldiers had killed American citizens, uh, the American uh, colonists uh, became very, very inflamed towards the British. Um, and to sort of punish the colonists for uh, their, their protests and things like the Boston Tea Party, uh, the British also passed what the, uh, the colonists would term the Intolerable Acts. Um, and these, uh, these acts, as I said, were basically designed to punish the colonists. They closed the port at Boston. They gave increased power to the British royal governor in Massachusetts. Uh, and they expanded the requirements of colonists to house and feed soldiers who were there essentially to keep the colonists under control and keep them from rebelling. Uh, so all of these things just fed the fires of uh, discontent amongst the colonists. And soon, uh, a lot of people were talking about wanting to break away from England uh, and secede uh, from England. Uh, and, and that's what led to the Declaration of Independence. Uh, so in 1776, uh, July 4th, very famously, uh, they declared independence um, and they said we're no longer part of Britain. Um, and the Revolutionary War was fought by Britain and the Patriots, or the colonists, uh, in, to, in, the, in Britain's attempt to basically keep control of those colonies. Um, this uh, image here is a very famous uh, painting of Washington, George Washington crossing the Delaware. Um, the colonists or the patriots had lost some cr uh, ground uh, to the British and they sort of surged back and retook some ground in this battle, uh, which was uh, sort of a, a, a important sort of emotional victory for the patriots. Uh, but the two most important battles to know are really the Battle of Saratoga and the Battle of Yorktown. Those are the two that you might have to recognize on the exam. 
Uh, the Battle of Saratoga was very important because the Patriots won a, a victory against the British, um, which essentially convinced the French that the Patriots had a good chance of winning. And the French wanted to back the Patriots so that they could sort of weaken the British, uh, who they had lots of conflict with. Um, but they were waiting to see if it seemed viable, if they thought the Patriots really stood a chance. And when the Patriots won this Battle of Saratoga, the French decided that they did. And then they put economic support behind the Patriots. They also started to give them weapons and all sorts of other military support. Um, so a lot of people argue, a lot of historians argue that without the French aid, the Patriot armies might not have been able to defeat the British. So this aid from the French in the Revolutionary War is extremely important and it came uh, after and because of, in large part, the Patriot uh, victory at Saratoga. Um, another important uh, battle uh, was, uh, was the Battle of Yorktown. And this one was very important because this was essentially uh, the, the, the battle where the Patriots won a decisive victory that essentially ensured uh, their victory in the war. And after this, uh, the, uh, the British surrendered. Um, and this was sort of the, the, the victory that brought about the end of the Revolutionary War um, and secured the Patriot, uh, the Patriot victory and basically led to uh, these uh, colonies becoming independent states, which would later become the United States of America. We hope you found this free teacher's test prep sample video helpful. For more videos like this one covering all the subject matter and strategy you need to pass your exam, Visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com.